Hi, working on Pinch on My Asana today for Arm Stand. And this video is a short video on how to start trying to kick up to the wall. And uh, this takes some time to get, and it takes, depending on how comfortable you are, kicking up to the wall in things like handstand. Uh, you might find this to be a little bit easier or harder compared to handstand kickups. But the same general principles apply in terms of uh, keeping your back leg, your kicking leg, your top leg super, super straight and doing a little hop with your bottom leg. So the hand placement options are interlaced hands with, I like to tuck my pinky finger under to get a nice flat base. So you can kick up with that. Or you can have a block. You can hold on to the outside edges of a block. You can have a block between the L's of your index finger and your thumb. Or you can work with no block. Uh, right now, I'm working with a strap around my upper arms, so again, you can work with different props and different options. So I'll show you the block setup, and then I'll show you the upper arm bone um, strapping technique, and uh, we'll start we'll start to see how it goes, okay? So the idea is we're going to try to kick the wall, and try to kick the wall with one leg, then try to kick the wall with two legs, and then try to kick up with one, two, ding dong, ding the bell, um, and stay up and hold it for a few breaths. And then we'll kick back down. So here we go. So first, getting a block. To set up the block, you'll place the block pretty much right up against the wall. And I'm gonna place my hand in an L configuration like this. Okay, so the block will go right there, and you'll come into a little dolphin pose. So tucking your toes behind you, lifting your hips up. And then I walk in as much as I can so I get my upper arm bones vertical, as vertical as I can. And then I keep looking forward. Lift one leg up, and then I hug it in towards the midline. So instead of letting it go off to the side, I hug it in and roll that hip down. Okay, and then I start just doing some little bends with the bottom leg, maybe finding a hop and coming up with that leg. Then I come back down. Then maybe I get two legs up. Then maybe I stay. Kick down and rest in child's pose. So that's the first way. Second way, very similar, it's just the strap. So the strap goes around your upper arms. This keeps your elbows from splaying out to the side. And this time, um, I put my fingertips a couple inches away from the wall. So you're not too, too close. Okay, get set up. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up. Keep looking forward, lift one leg, hug it into the midline, and then I kick up. You can try kicking with the opposite leg too to see if it's different. You'll usually have one stronger kicking leg and one stronger standing leg. So, but it is it does help to switch between the two of them to get stronger in both directions. Happy practicing.